Yeah. Is anybody in Washington listening to people like yourself? I don't know. You have to. <laughs> you have to ask the people. That I don't know. Huh? I, uh, you know, uh, if you were around during the Vietnam era, uh, you know, all the rallies and you know that war went on for ten years, and uh, five hundred, no, two hundred fifty thousand killed, half a million wounded, or something like that. Uh, you know. But they finally ran out of boys, or people. Boys, I guess, that women too. Huh? So whether they're listening or not, you know, if, as long, you know, again, <laughs> Jesus was the biggest failure out. You know? But if you have nonviolent public resistance to evil, you've won. You've won. You don't need any more. I mean, these lawyers come up, like the last time, uh, and I just got up. December 20th, last year, December 22nd, I don't know, 22nd, uh, uh, they said, well, we, we, we won, don't worry about it. If I would have drunk from the Blackwater Fountain in, Mid in New Orleans, and they, even if they put me in jail, I would have won. You know, I didn't realize it then, that because I didn't even you know, I probably didn't even drink water. I mean, I probably wasn't thirsty. I went down to New Orleans by a train, huh? And I probably had water on the train and all that. Uh, what was your question again? I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, oh, are they listening? Well, I don't know. Uh, again, jokingly, uh, I don't know. Again, this is December issue. Uh, I don't know how this person, whatever, uh, but uh, called up one one day and said, "Can I interview you?" I said, "Sure, go on down. I, I'm living in Saint Louis." And anyway, uh, Stephanie Marshall, I think she she's from Salt Lake City. She may be more. I don't know what. Uh, uh, hopefully, sometime people read things or look at things and maybe think. And again, I, you know, I don't blame people for not thinking. Because uh, we're not really taught to think and act. Not only think, but act too. Huh? You know, and Father Mannion, do I, did I say it right? Mannion. <laughs> Mannion, okay. Uh, uh, whatever. He just, uh, I guess he just sat down someplace or whatever, blocked traffic. Maybe didn't even give a lot of thought. And the same thing was true with the civil rights, huh? State said, uh, "Are you? No, you, you, you folks are not as old as I. I were. Uh, I who was the guy in front of the University of Alabama? Was blocking the door, and they were going to have some uh, student enroll, black student enroll. Uh, Wallace. Wallace. Yeah. Okay. George. George. George Wallace. Okay. Sorry. Uh, you know. So, as far as I'm concerned." Jesus was successful. Unfortunately, 300 years later, the church kind of got tied in with the empire and lost all of its real core, in my personal judgment, nonviolent. Nonviolent. Uh, those who use the sword will perish by the sword. Well, will perish by the uh, approximately 15,000 nuclear weapons that we probably have stored in bunkers. Huh? I'm just joked by it. To play maybe devil's advocate, I don't know. I don't think there's been another nation on the face of this earth ever to rebuild the losers of a war. After World War II, we had the Marshall Plan. This nation did that. Rebuilt Germany and Japan. And this nation, when, uh, when there are natural disasters, they, we reach out first with the most aid. So yes, I think we are flawed about nuclear. Yes, it's very dangerous, but I think we need also to uh, uh, pat ourselves in the back a little bit. Oh yeah. Being, yeah, yeah. being a Roman Empire, maybe a good Roman Empire. Well, you know, Pax Romana <laughs> during, during the Roman Empire days was, uh, they built so good we, roads. Go ahead, sir. So we are, we are beneficent in, in many regards. Yeah. And so we're human and if we strive, 
uh, thinking about, I don't know if we can, as a group, I don't know if we can do the things that you're, you're talking about. Well, we should, I know that, but I don't think we, we can or will, so is it okay to, uh, to work toward the goal if you don't get there? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, you, <laughs> I, was, I think that was what, uh, said. I think Gandhi uh, thought he would die and England would not be out of England. I think uh, Jesus with his 12, as I, of course, you're more than 12, I, uh, but I very often would rather speak to 12 people than 1,200, because you can get down to brass tacks huh? and whatever. No, I, I, uh, I say go to Russia or go to Iran or go to North Korea. I'm American. Now, here's where I can maybe, 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 I don't know. It's counterproductive. Maybe it is. I don't know. And what's the difference, huh? You do what you should. I mean, you know, pardon, uh, there's probably, probably more than half women here. Changing diapers is not really enjoyable. But you do it. Because it should be done, you know? And, you know, as I say, we, uh, we old, old people now, I hope you younger people don't have that business where you uh, keep your mouth shut and your mouth open kind of stuff. But, uh, you know, uh, what? And again, you have to prioritize. Huh? As far as I'm concerned, nuclear weapon number one. Huh? If, they blow this, if we blow this planet apart, the rest of it doesn't matter. Huh? And uh, we could. And again, I think they just probably store me in bunkers at uh, the base up in Washington State. Huh? And I don't know where they have, you know. I don't think there's anybody in the world probably knows really how many nuclear bombs we really have. You know, I just, man, I've been crude. I've, I've been in jail quite a bit, so I, uh, nobody, let's see, how to make it now, nobody cares too much about how many targets. I, mean, I would have used, if I was in jail, I would have shit off, but I won't use them. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Uh, would it be nice to have uh, a money to spend on the if we'd have dropped schools in Iraq in place of bombs, I think we would have been better off. I mean, there were people who said we should have sent, I don't know, what was there at one time, like 100,000, I don't know how many troops in Iraq, sent a couple thousand grandmothers there. Maybe that would have, you know. You know, and the same thing, our boys were being killed by, you know, when the Russians were there in Afghanistan, we were given the Taliban, all kinds of missiles and this and that and whatever. Just, you know, and the Russians left them and just used them on us or whatever. You know? uh, now, look, I'm sorry, you were questioning that earlier statement. Again, uh, please say it again. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. I mean, uh, you. How many bombs do you need? Yeah. I mean, again, there was talk, I don't know, a thousand were here and a thousand are. Actually, Russia. Well, one is too many. You know, there. Somebody said, "Well, there's never been a country denuclearized." That's not true. South Africa had five nuclear bombs, and they destroyed. How about? Okay. Right. This crowd is uh, somewhere my age. to go to sleep on us, so we better. How about one more question? Yeah.
No, I don't care if there is. Uh, I think it's seven billion now we have in the world. Seven, uh, six billion, nine hundred ninety-nine million, nine hundred ninety-nine thousand, nine hundred ninety-nine on the other page as long as the holy one is on my page. Say, I don't care. Go ahead. I think we should give Father a big hand. with 